Operations in the Dutch East Indies continue at a steady pace, and soon, all of Borneo and Singapore will be in our hands. Allied naval activity has been light this past week, except for their submarines. On January 3, 1942, an American submarine was detected and depth charged. As a result, the sub was forced to surface and promptly sunk by gunfire. Besides this one encounter, our forces continue to ferry troops to Singapore by night unimpeded. Reconnaissance flights over Java has uncovered some rather concerning developments. The Allies look to be planning their main stand on Java, and to facilitate this, their airfields on the island are being built up at a rapid rate. An operation to bombard these airfields by night is currently in the planning phase. In the meantime, our long-range bombers will commence air raids on these airfields immediately. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to episode number three of our War on the Sea series, playing as the Empire of Japan. Our heavy hitting task force here was ferrying troops over to Singapore, and we have made contact with a couple of enemy warships. We have them on radar. They keep fading in and out though. Chikuma here has radar going. We are pretty close to them. We can actually make them out. They are two little patrol boats. We have identified them. Grimsey and Flores class. And it looks like she is getting bracketed over there. It doesn't look like either of the enemy ships have actually been hit yet. I have the entire formation opening fire. I'm hoping we can just blow these two boats out of the water. Grimsey class is engaging. Most of the ships are engaging her first and foremost. And then there is a Dutch patrol boat in the rear here opening fire. Star shells were illuminating the area. I'm going to have you actually begin firing some star shells over the target. Please fire those. Yeah, I'm just seeing steady flashes out there. It is quite foggy today. I don't think anybody has been hit at this point, although that was a little close for comfort. Chikuma. Okay, she is being fired at too. Let's turn south. Make a steady turn. Solution's at 80% here. It's looking pretty good. That way, if we turn, we can get our secondaries into firing position. Let's open up with high explosive narrow patterns fire. The enemy is quite brave, though. They are charging ahead. It looks like Grimsby is listing. Looks like she is taking on water. Kind of hard to tell, though. There we go. That's plenty of star shells. That should help get our solution up. Once Chikuma's done with this turn, our solution... Oh my gosh! Massive magazine explosion on the second ship. Was not expecting to see that. That was quite extreme. Looks like she is slowing down dramatically as well. Okay, target her. 71% solution. Search lights are on. Good work. What are your primaries? Shooting at AP punch holes right through her. Secondaries about to... Our rear two turrets are about to be an arc here. Alright, let them rip. There we go. All guns are in arc, getting hits right off the bat. We'll shoot one more salvo of armor piercing. We have 160 rounds of that, and then we'll switch to HE. I just want these guns to load AP and finish loading. Don't waste any time. Okay, rudder midships. Okay. There we go. Switch the high explosive, please. And see, we've punched quite a few holes in the enemy ship. She is listing extremely dramatically. And it looks like quite a few fires have started internally. Our other friend way out there is deploying smoke. Starting to fade. There we go. Good stuff right there. Secondary explosion on the bow of the target. And Shikuma is doing work here. The smoke's kind of throwing us off a little bit. Let's take a look. Yeah, not a good day for this warship. How about you over here? Loris. Oh, taking on water extremely rapidly in the stern. And there's an explosion amidships. She's going down soon for sure. We were just ferrying troops over whenever we encountered these two vessels in the middle of the night. As you can see, it's 
3.48 in the morning. There we go. Grimsby's sinking. Not the one I expected to sink first, if I'm being honest, but there she goes. One less allied ship we need to worry about. Used a lot of ammunition, but... Okay, Chikuma. Go ahead and open fire. Um, shoot high explosive. Let's finish this thing off. Well, she was stubborn, but Flores is finally going down. As two more ships sunk, doesn't look like any of our vessels actually took any serious damage here. We actually gained command points for doing that. Okay, perfect. Continue on. Let's uh, retreat. Well, here we are on the campaign map. You can see it is January 8th, 1942, and our task forces are hard at work unloading troops and supply at various bases. We have unloaded our troops at Tarakan. We have 1,900 troops and 1,300 supply here, and our convoy is moving up to Mindanao to resupply. It is the 14th day of the campaign. Every seven day, we get command points, which allow us to purchase new ships. We only received around eight command points this time around, so I went ahead and got a couple of extra ships here, cargo ships. One is transporting fuel, so it's a tanker, and one is transporting cargo engineering. That way, up here at Sandicon, we can get some aircraft. We just need to have the appropriate supplies there so they resupply. Up here, our task force is waiting for nightfall to unload the troops. I'm only unloading at night because I do not want to be bombarded by allied aircraft. And in the previous episode, I did mention that I was looking for some more interesting task force names. and. Someone suggested a really good idea, which I'm using for most of my task forces for the time being. My more specialized task forces will have some more unique names, but I am naming them after shogi pieces. So Kima 1 and Kima 2, that is the equivalent of the knight. And then for our pawns, we have Fuyo. So all of our convoys will be pawns. And then all of our cruiser task forces will be knights. Once we get some more unique task forces, I'll have some more unique names for them. That's the current situation, though. I'm hoping by the time this task force returns back to Tarakan to unload its second bunch of supply and troops, that up here at Sandakan, we will have aircraft to kind of protect them. Because I do want more aircraft protecting my task forces. Speaking of... Airfields. Sarabaya is a rank four airfield. If the allies get it to rank five, that is their victory condition. So we need to stop them from getting it to rank five. My current plan is Kima one will head down south when it, once it has unloaded all of its supply at Singapore and we will bombard Sarabaya to rubble at night. We are also I'm thinking of going to grab some aircraft and bomb it. So some Helens, why not? With bombs, well, they'll take off. And then we'll also send up some Oscars to provide uh, escort for these Helens so they don't get blown to bits. We could also bombard some of these other airfields around the map. However, I do want most of these intact. I wanna capture as many airfields as possible at as high a rank as possible. Uh, so we can use the aircraft. All right, that's the current situation. I will keep you all updated as we continue here. Well, our aircraft turned back because it hit 1800 hours. I guess once it hits 1800, the all aircraft automatically RTB. So that kind of ruins that raid. <laughs> I did have another plan. I was thinking like right before 1800, I would launch Helen's uh, to bomb Sarabaya and do some nighttime raids, but it does not look like that is possible. I guess it makes sense. I guess it would kind of take advantage of the AI, but that is indeed a shame that we can't do that. Okay, well, tomorrow morning on January 9th, we will launch an air raid on Sarabaya. Kima 2, our small task force, has detected an enemy submarine. I do not believe they have launched torpedoes. I'm going to have this destroyer race ahead, increase speed to 35 knots, and get ready to, to depth charge the contact here. Like so, I think Yuzuki here has sonar contact. Let's go active. Continue to track the target. She is moving at 7 knots down there. 
all of my my heavy cruiser is turning to break and avoid any incoming torpedoes. Not sure there are going to be any this time around. Let's do a quick scan. Where's the sub? What bearing? She's off to around 240. Okay, there may be a wake there. There may be a wake. It's actually really hard to tell. All right, this ship's racing in. Let's see, torpedoes in the water? No, I don't, maybe. It could be the torpedo or that could actually be the sub and the weather's quite clear, and the water's quite clear, excuse me. Okay, well let's race in, drop some depth charges right on top of this guy. Okay, moving in on the contact. There she is, she has not fired any torpedoes. We're using active tracking her, let's turn. Big pattern here. Okay, contact's going deep. And fire. Rolled up charges. There we go. Perfect. Let's take a look at our friend. Yep, that does not look like she fared too well. Good death charge run. Alright, come back around. Increase speed. Izuki's moving in for a run. She's also maintaining contact with the sub. It does look like it is sinking. Yeah, she's dropping down to the bottom. Still moving. Screws are still turning. Coming in for another depth charge run. It looks like... I can't tell. Is the sub trying to surface? No. Oh, she might actually be trying to surface. Well, I don't know how well that's going to end for him. Get ready to roll. Passing over. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, let's avoid a collision. Rotor midships, roll charges. Yeah, that does not look good for our submerged friend. Fire another pattern. Oof. Yeah, that was not good. She is sinking now. And it's going down. That's one more sub we don't have to worry about. Our Helens are moving in, and there we go. Bombs away. RTB immediately. And we did have something peculiar. Kima 1 was intercepted by a Allied float plane. I saw it moving off to the south. So... I'm going to start launching some aircraft and do some scouting down in that direction. And we'll see if we can find whatever is, uh, whatever is doing this. Uh, there's definitely a cruiser, I would think, or something out there. Okay, we have encountered the enemy task force and they are closing in quite quickly here. They are less than an hour away. Let's move in to engage. It says five destroyers. What's, what the heck's over here? Oh. What do we have? Retaliation? What are these B-17s? Yeah, sure are. B-17s moving probably to do strategic bombing against us now that we've bombed them. A little bit of revenge, I see. Okay, well, thankfully we have uh, Oscars in the area. They are automatically engaging. Helens are also somewhere. Okay, they're leaving the engagement area. Glad they are clear. All right, come on, Oscars, you got this. Hopefully we don't lose all of our Oscars in this with all these defensive gunners. There's a lot of anti-aircraft fire that the B-17s are putting out. Come on. There we go, good work. And we lost one. Okay. Not entirely surprising that we're gonna lose one or two here. Just spray. Okay, we've lost another Oscar. This is not good. Lots of Oscars being shot down. Come on. Let's see if we can get some good hits here on these B-17s. Two of them are smoking here. And the B-17 just flew right beside us. Ways gunner's opening up. Man, this guy's aim is the worst thing I've ever seen. 
<laughs> my my Oscar pilot. He could uh he could certainly be doing better. There we go, finally got one. Get this other one. He's almost out of ammunition. And he's out of ammo. Alright, get out of here. Get out of here. Other Oscars closing in. He has a lot of ammunition. Let's see how he does. Good deflection shot there. Didn't cause much damage, unfortunately. There we go. Breaking the B-17 and got it. All right, another one. Go shoot down another one. Well, instead of shooting down another one, he was in fact shot down. Okay, let's leave the combat area. Man, three Oscars, four Oscars. Oh, those are our Helens leaving. All right, let's get out of here. At least we got most of them. Their bombing raid will be mostly ineffective. Okay, task force has intercepted the enemy. Let's change our formation here. Let's see, what are we working with? Circular, two column convoy. Oh, don't really like that. Three column, no. The problem that I have with this battle line one is it's five, nine, seven, six, ten, eight. So it makes maintaining formation a little weird whenever you order other ships to form up. I mean, classic battle line is also good because it makes it easy. Okay, let's, um, one, three, five, seven, nine. I actually kind of like this. But we will go with battle line for now. This will work out. Okay, begin. Let's see what we're up against. The scout, the Jake here, reported it was just a bunch of bunch of destroyers. I'm not sure how much I believe that, considering there were scout planes sighted. Good news. Got them sighted already. The Jake has them sighted anyway. All right, ships on the horizon. Let's go to the Jake. Oh, go to the Jake. Uh, what are we working with? Maybe it is just destroyers. Yeah, three destroyers. Four destroyers, excuse me. Well, we'll be able to make quick work of them. That is quite surprising to me. Um, okay, Sendai. Okay, these guys, and seven. Let's move out, let's break formation. Get into a line ahead, form up, increase speed. And head off that way. Naka, Mitsuki, and Fubuki. Naka, Mitsuki, Fubuki, break, form up, line ahead. Increase speed. All right, light cruisers and destroyers are gonna go take care of this. Chikuma and company. Just turn south, increase speed as well. Guns are trained on the target. I want you to not immediately open fire. Hold fire on the target. All of you, really, just hold fire on the target. You can fire with your secondaries, but I don't want you to start expending ammo on a bunch of destroyers. Not yet, anyway. We're not even in range. We still have a while to go. The Jake is what's spotting him. We are receiving fire. The enemy is engaging at a really long range. Um, the fire's pretty ineffective. I'd be shocked if they could actually hit us. It seems like they are firing at Naka for the most part. We are continuing. Yeah, look, some nearby splashes. Very distant, not too worried about it. We're still 18 kilometers away from the target and we're working on crossing the T, bringing all of our guns to bear on the targets. Um, this formation probably won't open fire. We'll see what we end up doing with Naka. Uh, Chikuma secondaries, along with Mikuma and Mogami, will probably do the bulk of the work here. And targets are getting nice and close. Let's see, 19 kilometers out, 66% solution. Primary guns, how many? We have 400 rounds of high explosive. Okay, let's start doing some spotting here engage the lead warship mikuma you have my permission to open fire 
There we go. Let them have it. Secondaries can shoot as well. Doesn't look like they're in range just yet. Let's see how those splashes do. We were targeting this vessel. The 120 right there. Uh, flight time. I wish it would tell me what the flight time of our shells was. That'd be really cool to actually just see. And count down. Okay, nearby. Ranging, though. They are zigzagging about, which is throwing it off. We may want to m do some maneuvers here. Knock and company start turning east. Jikuma as well. Make a turn. Okay, we already hit one of them. I don't know who's engaging that. Naka, who are you engaging? Let's range 15 kilometers. All right, open fire. Fire at well. Fire at well. Shoot AP. That's fine. You are firing. Good. Suki, make sure you are firing. Good. Number two in the line was struck. She has an internal fire. Uh, they're sh <laughs> This brave little Jake's taking anti-aircraft fire. I guess they realize uh, the Jake's probably doing some... Sp wow! There we go. Big explosion there. I guess they realize uh, the Jake's up here doing some uh, directing. Increase your altitude. Increase your speed. You want to keep dragging that anti-aircraft, though. I am not going to complain all that much. Chikuma... Keep on turning. Looks like the enemy formation may be attempting to turn away. We gotta keep our eyes peeled for torpedoes as well. Uh, mainly from these British destroyers. I'm not too worried about the American torpedoes, all things considered. I think we're still out of their range anyway. 16 kilometers away. I'm not gonna waste my torpedoes on... Uh, on a bunch of destroyers, that's for sure. Preferably, I'd like to use our torpedoes at night as well. Get nice and close. Okay. Sendai, what in, what in the world are you doing? Where's the rest of your formation? Why are they not following you? Form up. They're in the line ahead of formation. I don't know. Well, I'm not going to worry about it too, too much here. We'll see what their next move is here. Okay, I want you to shoot at the second ship in the line now. It's not deploying smoke. Open fire on that one. Secondaries can actually engage here as well. Still out of arc. We need to make a slight turn. Naka, you're moving it top speed E-class destroyer back there uh oh Fabuki's been hit damage control minor damage here they're opening fire at Van Galen she is fighting back ferociously she's embodied in a smoke start laying smoke yourself change course turn north get out of here ow right in the funnel that was kind of rude Let's see. Yeah, minor damage. She is being bracketed quite extensively, though. Okay, Chikuma and company start turning. This destroyer is making a strange maneuver. I really need you to crack it open. 80% solution. Come on, boys. We'll turn and get our last two guns and arc. Really help us out. We're getting a little close for comfort. We definitely need to keep our eyes peeled for torpedoes. There we go. That was a good hit. Right at the waterline. Yeah, we're getting hits on that destroyer now. It already looks like she's developing a list. I have Mogami engaging the Clemson class destroyer. That's the four stacker right there. Getting some near hits. Everyone else seems to be in pretty okay shape, except uh, Van Galen there, which Naka is currently working on. Let's let's see how she's looking. Uh, not great, not terrible. I'll keep firing at her. Let's check on Fubuki. Already looks like damage is more or less under control. 
Yeah, getting it under control. Love it. Well, the EF destroyer has been hit. Massive explosion amidships. You can see she's already taken on water and uh, she is extensively on fire. Yeah, we got a good salvo in, it would seem. Ground's still landing all around her. Yeah, she got a little close, I'd say. Guns are still firing, though. They're trying their best. Rear guns are trying to shoot down that, uh, that spotter aircraft. Just flying directly overhead, dragging some anti-aircraft as well. One of our destroyers, Mitsuki, here has been hit quite extensively. Damage control, working on putting out those fires. Let's lay some smoke, turn north, get out of here. Okay, Mogami. You gotta take out that Clemson. There she is. I mean, she's smoking. She's not looking great. Narrow salvos. Shoot some AP. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Guess we don't actually have armor piercing in our secondaries. Big explosion amidships. That EF destroyer does not look good at all. Let's check on our other friend up there. Yeah, she's still moving. All of her fires have been put out. There we go. I'm bracketing the Clemson now. All right, Chikuma. How's it looking? How's that EF glass looking? Not good. <laughs> Completely on fire. Is she still engaging us? I don't really think so. Switch targets, engage the Clemson. Yeah, start working on that Clemson. Blow that thing out of the water. Shoot high explosive, please. There we go. Okay, the EF class is sinking. Mikuma, shoot that Admiralty 5. Let's see. Look at her. Okay, Clemson's not looking good. I don't even see the Admiralty. She's in all that smoke. Can't even make anything out through all that mess. Okay, let's take a look at Naka. How's it going over here? Still working on trying to hit this thing my goodness she is a stubborn destroyer putting up a fierce fight against our light cruiser up here in the lead yeah their admiralty class is just completely obscured this clemson does not have much longer afloat okay chikuma okay there we go all of you engage that admiralty chikuma actually engage van galen blow that finish that thing off i'm tired of looking at it all right. Hello there. That thing's not gonna last too long. The Admiral T-Class got hit critically. She's dead in the water, taking on lots of water. She's done for. She is going down. The one leading Dutch destroyer is the last one left that we really have to contend with. Unfortunately, Mitsuki over here has taken a fair amount of damage. You can see she already has some secondaries going off. Uh, Chikuma. Mikuma, start firing at her. Please, we're using so much ammo destroying these destroyers, but I, I don't want my destroyer Mitsuki up there to take any more really heavy damage. I'm honestly surprised that uh, Van Galen up there is still afloat. Taking a lot of punishment. I believe that's the Admiralty class right there. Yeah, still taking fire somehow. Still afloat. We could probably hold off. We could probably stop firing, but if they're shooting at me, I'm going to keep shooting at them. There we go, Van Galen finally sinking. It means this one is the last destroyer. There we go, good secondary right there. Screws completely stopped dead in the water. I'm sure they are abandoning the ship now. We have received the final confirmation. All enemy destroyers have been sunk. Mitsuki here is not doing too great. We're working on repairs, putting out all of these fires, especially the fire in the magazine. Uh, that is priority. You can see we're taking on some more water as well. Hopefully we'll be able to get this all under control. Uh, and hopefully we can save the ship.
Well, repairs have gone really well. Uh, no more fires on board, so we're going to go ahead and leave now. Let's see. Yeah, Masuki took the brunt of it, but four command points gained, four destroyer sunk. Nice. I will take it. Now, the unfortunate thing is here uh, we have been detected, although we did destroy them. Let's change positions here. Let's change course to kind of throw off any enemy aircraft heading our way. Oh, boy. This isn't good. We have seven ships here very fast, moving 22 knots. Very close to our small task force. There's possibly a heavy cruiser in there. New C. Or no, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Launch aircraft. Torpedo planes, please. ASAP. Force, turn south. Are they following us? Oh, they sure are. Over an hour. This may not be good. Keep running away. Hopefully our Nels can get here and cause some damage to whatever the heck this is. Uh-oh. Been spotted. Let's begin. Let's see what we're up against. Start. Immediately retreat. Ships. Okay. Clemson's. Oh, no. <laughs> Freaking Exeter. Oh, boy. Okay. Um... Okay, all of you. Increase speed. Target them. Target something. You're launching your torpedoes for sure. There is no way we are not doing that. Everyone's going to launch torpedoes. And everyone, just open fire. Fire at will. Let them have it. Start laying smoke, all of you as well. Change course. Change course. Kamikaze, you know, uh, okay, we're going to target Exeter. Exeter is the primary. Kamikaze's already damaged. She already has damage. She's going to be really brave here and cover the rest of the task force while they try to escape. I just want to get into position to fire as many torpedoes as I can here. Oscars are overhead protecting us. Come here. All right, Kamikaze. I'll wait for the enemy to complete their turn. Oh boy. Yeah, Kamikaze's gonna get sunk for sure. But I think the rest of my ships will be able to get out of here unscathed. Hopefully. And uh, our Nels will be able to come around and just sink Exeter. That's the goal anyway. Looks like we have another light cruiser here. Okay, Kamikaze. Torpedo time. Alright, all torpedoes and arc. You have a 57% solution. 62. Alright, do a 6 degree spread. Hmm. Switch targets. No, you know what? Yeah, hold off. Switch targets. Aim for, aim for Exeter. No, don't aim for Exeter. Aim for target number one there. Please just fire as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, torpedoes. I want a good solution. That's the problem. Change course here. Another Clemson class. Yeah, if they're kind of zigzagging that way, I think hitting that Clemson with a nice fat spread is probably a good idea. Wait, make sure we're all in position. I wonder if I can see. I wonder. Part of me wants to try to get him a closer with uh, Kamikaze here. I think I will. I think I will try to get closer with her damage report. She has not been struck by any enemy shells just yet. Which is good. Suki, damage report. You're good. Okay, torpedoes. Fire at, yeah, just shoot at the Clemson, whatever. I am not too worried about it. Actually, everybody, I want everyone to build up solutions on the cruisers. Three and four are the cruisers. Their priority, please. Not going to build up a very good solution considering the uh, 
the sheer amount of smoke we're putting out. Wow, I am shocked Kamikaze has not been hit. What's the range? 10, 10 kilometers. York class heavy cruiser. Yep, that's her. Okay, this is awesome. The fact that we are completely on the defensive here. I love it. Love it. Kamikaze, we're going to lose her. There's no doubt about it. But she's going to live up to our namesake here. Let's see. How's the enemy turning? Or not. Okay. Come left. Target York. Target the York class. Build up that solution. You're going to do three degrees spread. Wow. Get all of them an arc. She's already significantly slower. She's taking multiple hits. Okay, get an arc. Okay, no, eight degree, nine degree spread. Nice and close. Okay, steady up. I'll wait till the last moment before I fire torpedoes. I want to get as close to them as I can. Izuki and everybody is going to fire off here shortly. Once we are completely clear of Kamikaze. Move in. All those ships nice and clumped up. You love to see it. I want them to complete their turn, and then I'm going to shoot. Okay, Oscars, try to relieve some of the pressure. Go drag some flak. Uh, heavy damage, heavy flooding. I think this is it. Fire torpedoes. Get them off. Fire the freaking torpedoes. Come left. Get an arc. There we go. Torpedoes away. Have fun. All right, Izuki. All of them. Uh, six degree spread here. You're shooting at York. Fire. An arc. Good. Torpedo tubes swinging out. There we go. That's what I like to see. You, my friend. All right. Five degree spread, fire. You, four degree spread, fire. Get an arc. There we go. All right, torpedoes away. Oscars are dragging. Kamikaze, how's it looking? Not good. All right, come around. Hold. All right, all these destroyers, get the heck out of here. Bye, time to run. Okay, the Clemson's changing course and such is unfortunate. Okay, rudder amidships. 75% solution on the Clemson's. Okay, big spread, 10 degrees, fire them. You? Yeah, another 10 degree spread, but you're aiming for the Clemson. Uh, go for York. Yeah, she's fine. Oh, have, have any of these destroyers taken damage? No. The <laughs> answer is no. Big ol' no. Okay, you. Uh, do a seven degree spread, fire them. There we go. All right, we'll see. We can get lucky, hopefully. Now we're gonna lay smoke and just retreat. No point st sticking around. Can't win this. Poor Kamikaze is just getting absolutely laid into here. Um, surprisingly, she's still afloat. Damage control team doing some fighting. Secondaries are going off left, right, and center, but here come the torpedoes. Here come the torpedoes. These spreads do not look good, but some of these, we'll see. Um, it's not the best torpedo launch ever, I must admit. This one from Kamikaze is by far the best. And it may snag a Clemson, but it doesn't look like it. And yeah, the torpedoes just whizzed right past the Clemson, which is a downright shame. Kamikaze just suffered a magazine explosion. 
Uh, yep, she sacrificed herself. Let's check on everybody else. Jensu's doing fine. Everybody's just retreating. Good. Yep, there we go. She's going down. Hey, one of the Clemsons is smoking, so there is that. Well, unfortunately, it looks like all of our torpedo spreads missed, except this one, which may get lucky here. This Clemson may be on the receiving end of a torpedo if we are lucky. I believe these are from our light cruiser. Come on. And it just missed there. Okay, that's a shame. All right. The Clemsons have escaped. Well, at least those have. This one's may end up receiving a hit. Who knows? And then York would be lovely. Be lovely to strike one of them. Unfortunately, this Clemson has threaded it too. The spread is so wide that they have ample opportunity to kind of get out of the way here. This cruiser? That would be a lovely hit here. Is it going to fall short? Come on, and indeed it has. All right. One ship left. York. Obviously the priority. If we get hit one hit, Kamikaze will not have been... Uh, Kamikaze's uh, sacrifice will not have been in vain, and it looks like we are going to get one single torpedo hit. There we go. Okay, one hit amidship. She is on fire. Okay. Well... At least there's that. We're almost clear. We're almost able to leave the combat area. Okay, we have left the combat area. A lot of our ships took some damage. Kamikaze was sunk. York has moderate damage and moderate flooding. Continue on. Nels are closing in on the area. Well, unfortunately, our task force has been re-intercepted by the enemy. And... Oh, man, we're trying to withdraw. We have 300 seconds. Oh, shoot. They're going to get slaughtered here. Uh, let's see. What's the situation? Torpedoes. We have torpedoes and arc. Okay. All torpedoes. Two degree spread. Wait for Exeter to finish her turn. When she finishes her turn to come at us, we'll fire off these torpedoes. Our, our Nels are not in the area. Unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, we were re-intercepted before the Nels could even get close, which is a downright shame. We'll see if we can save some of these destroyers. Exeter will sink. There is no doubt about that. Whether by aircraft or by the hands of Jinsu. I would love to escape, though. Working on that solution, 66%. 67, 65, fluctuating. You're not going to have time to really uh, make it too pretty. Is she done turning? Doesn't look like it yet. Hold out. See if we can wait for her. I mean, she's going slower than the rest of the formation. You know what? Fire them. Oh, do my other warships, do we have reloads? No, I don't think we do have. Yeah, none of these other warships have any torpedoes left. Okay. Let's see if you can turn around quickly. Looks like she, Jinsu actually has torpedoes on her other side. Hold fire, all of you. Okay, there we go. Four fish away. Swing around. Try to fire off a few more. I don't know if our Nels are going to come onto the can't onto the map here. I doubt it. They're still about an hour out, unfortunately. We're going to lose our light cruiser here. Torpedoes are racing past a Clemson, and I'm not feeling too confident here that anything's going to strike. Let's see how many. Yeah, 500 seconds. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to end up hitting York. I'll see who can escape. I should have just 
let her sit here. And she's still... Still fighting. Still taking fire. Yeah, keep slugging it out, I guess. Another destroyer here is pretty much in horrible shape. Well, they are going to regret doing this, that's for sure. Our light cruiser is sinking. Jinsu is going down. Well, here we have it. Here's the damage. Pretty much no damage uh, to any of the allied forces. Uh, the Clemson got hit a little bit. Asakaze was scuttled and Jinsu was sunk. That's two ships, 6,000 tons. Our Nels are close. How far out? Less than an hour away. Here we go. We have them. The enemy task force is heading south. Nels are in the area. Go to tactical. All right, let's begin. Okay, we've started right over the top of them. Let's fly away for a bit because Exeter is going to be a bit slower than the rest of the formation. I am hoping we can hit her when she's uh, lagging behind the rest of them. Our first flight is about to commit to the attack. We're almost parallel with them and we're about to turn in on Exeter. You can see the rest of the formation is kind of in front of her. She is lagging behind a little bit. I want to be about here and then we're going to turn in. That should give us a pretty good approach. I kind of want to save one flight of Nels in reserve. I'm wondering, I'm honestly wondering if six torpedoes is going to sink her. Uh, seven counting the type 93 that hit her earlier. Okay, first flight's turning in. All right, go get them, boys. Let's have this group of Nels turn this way. I'd like to save as many Nels as possible. If at all possible, because I would like to strike this light cruiser as well. And we certainly need to get our revenge. Okay, well once our, we drop our fish, we're going to turn south. It's probably our best bet. All right, this angle looks okay. Exeter is moving, somehow seems to be moving extremely quickly. Okay, one of our Nels here is taking fire. Smoking a little bit on engine number one. Come on. We lost one, okay. Get ready to drop. There we go, torpedoes away. All right, turn right, get out of here. Okay, we lost both of them, unfortunately. Let's see how these torpedoes do. She's going evasive. Unfortunately, my Oscars couldn't be here to drag flak. They had the RTB because of low fuel. That's one hit there. There we go, two hits on Exeter. She is now smoking. Okay, second flight, turn in. Go get her. Increase speed, start moving fast. What's her speed? Target's moving 15 knots and slowing down. All right. Gotta move fast. Try to avoid that flak. She has a big fire breaking out. Amidships. There we go. Three torpedoes coming in. What's her speed? Nine knots. I actually want this Oscar or this Nell, excuse me, to adjust slightly. There we go. Torpedo away. Right in front of her. There we go. Immediately struck her. Nice. Okay, a little close. Uh, another torpedo is going to strike her right in the bow. I'm glad I did that. The other one would have missed. There we go. She's sinking. She's going down. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly why I saved this last formation of Nels in reserve. You boys still have your torpedoes? You do. All right, come around. You're going to hit that light cruiser. There we go. Exeter is going down. One light cruiser and two destroyers in exchange for one of the allies' heavy cruisers in the theater? Uh, I'll take that. Last formation of Nels is moving in to engage the cruiser. The cruiser is a little bit behind the destroyers. The problem is two of these Nels are 
kind of heavily damaged. We'll see if we can, uh, we'll see if we can manage to actually get some good hits here. Anti-aircraft's opening up. That is a lot of anti-aircraft fire coming our way from that little cruiser. All right, we're moving as fast as we can. That would be fantastic if we could manage to sink her. I don't know if three torpedoes is going to do it. I would think they would, but who knows if three are even going to get through. All right, moving quickly. All right, um, looking good. Pack individually. Okay, lost one. Oh my gosh. Torpedo away. All right, get out of there. That's going to be a hit. It went right under the target. I dropped too early. Okay, well, that was unfortunate. Okay, let's, uh, let's leave combat. Confirm that. Okay, Exeter was sunk. 8,000 tons sent down to the bottom. We lost seven aircraft. Only three command points gained for that, which... Uh, it's a little light. That hasn't given us uh, a whole lot to work with up here. Uh, especially considering we only have two destroyers left. But we'll get a third. We'll keep shuttling troops to Singapore. That's our primary goal. The good news is that task force that was up here in the north has uh, had its teeth removed. All right, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.